In this video, we are going to see how to use the upgrade readiness utility on Connectrix fabric switches to extract the required logs for automated pre-upgrade assessment. The tool gathers all the necessary health check commands that run manually by RPS engineers during pre-upgrade and post-upgrade checks. After health checks are completed, a log file will be generated and uh, this file can be viewed in a text document application such as WordPad. Although the log files have an extension of RPS, they are just a plain text. So now for you to get the more details, like uh, what are the system requirement to run this tool or what are the connectivity and the service requirement, I'll give you all the details in the description of this video, along with the KB link and uh, from where you can download this particular file and run it on your system. So now let's get into the video on how to use this tool. So once you run that particular application, which I have mentioned in the description, you will get into this screen, which you see here. Now let's select the product. So we are selecting Connectrix. Okay, now you can uh, give your uh, system login information. So I've given my uh, login information and the system is connecting. So it says gathering switch information. Okay, it says uh, FICON is enabled on this switch. So the switch which I've selected uh, has a FICON enabled. Okay, that's fine. Let's go with, okay. Okay, now so I'm selecting the destination firmware. So because uh, here uh, it is already on the target version. Like if you are in the previous version, it, it will list you the other target versions as well. Let's go next. It says click next to generate the diagnostic logs. Yes. Okay, now it's running the health check. Selecting this with serial number. So this uh, particular file, whatever we get after the health check is the basic health check. It, it will do the, all the basic checks before you uh, do a upgrade. And even post that, you can use this tool uh, to check like the basic information. So now the health check is complete. And uh, if you go to view in folder, it will display this file in a folder, but you can also directly check view logs. Let's click on view logs. So it says uh, when we have run this, and then it will give you the switch configuration information with the serial number and the basic checks like switch show if everything is passed. You can see a list of things, uh, what, what are the checks it has done. And then it's again checking for the serial number of the switch and the firmware version on which the switch is. What is the fabric information, like how many switches are there in the fabric, all those details along with the switch show. And it's checking the sensors and also the it's showing the dashboard information where you can uh, see this basic details. It gives you a summary report like in last seven days if there was any errors on port or FRU or the switch resource range or performance, anything that will be listed here. Yeah. So this basically gives us a glimpse of what are the details we see in that view logs. So these are the basic things we get. And then if you wanted to add any other switch, you can go ahead with add switch. Or if you're done with the details which you have collected, then you can finish it. Yes, so it's asking you if you want to close this particular utility, give a yes. So this is how we uh, perform a basic uh, health check on the switches pre or the post upgrade. Thank you. Thanks for watching.